Cool. All right. With exactly one, we are exactly one month away from spring. That came fast, right? Okay. Not fast enough. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I just feel like I was putting up Christmas decorations yeah. yesterday. We're getting a glimpse of the warmer weather with the local annual flower display. And spring here is a spring. Yeah. Relative term. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Sometimes, right. sometimes right we get time. spring snow. Oh. Uh, the oh. Dutch Connection Floral Show is going until March 1st at the George Eastman Museum. And that's where Michael Schwartz is live this morning to explain the history behind the beautiful display. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Hey, good morning, guys. The smell here in the conservatory is amazing. And yes, we are just 29 days away from spring, so we're getting a nice glimpse of it here at the George Eastman Museum. Check out this amaryllis. It's one of seven varieties of amaryllises here in the conservatory of the thousands of bulbs that they have here. And who knows it best than Dan Bellavia, who is the landscape manager here at the George Eastman Museum. George Eastman used to take, actually, flowers from Holland, bring them here, and then he started getting thousands and that's why you continue his legacy. Yeah, he used to bring in flowers. He'd bring about 30,000 bulbs in a year to go and plant out on the grounds. He would bring some into his greenhouses and force them so that all through the winter he would always have a display up on. Now he liked to have it just one color. And I think that's a little bit too strict, so I like to mix it up. and put different colors out here for people to enjoy. The work that goes into it, you have dozens of volunteers. It takes about a year, but we're looking at how many different varieties, different bulbs? Um, I have a total of 57 different varieties and 13 different types of plants. Tulips, daffodils, hyacinths, begonias, clivia. So there's a lot of different spring plants that are in here that you would normally see in your yard throughout May, June, in April, even, even into April would, would probably happen. Um, so it's it's just fun things to see and give you an idea that spring is coming. It's coming. It it's is almost here. Coming. Yeah, you just have to have a little more time. It's almost here. Yeah. All right, we have a big week coming up because now until Sunday is the kids' programs where right. they get to plant bulbs. Exactly. Um, we started this three years ago. What we try to do is get the kids involved in gardening. I think it's a real and it's important to get them outside so they get to come in and they get to take their own bulb, plant it, and they get to watch it grow. Once it's done, they can put it into their ground, and every year they can watch it from then on to keep growing. Start their own little garden. The hours and ticket prices for those out there who want to stop by? Uh, t it's 10 to 5, Monday or Tuesday through Saturday. It's 11 to 5 on Sunday. Uh, ticket prices are 15 for adults, 13 for seniors, 5 for students. And then we encourage everybody to come on. And if you do come in, the ball planting for your kids is included in the price and we hope everybody comes in and sees our flowers and later today i'm going to be a kid as well like i am <laughs> just about every day and plant my own bulb but coming up they also have been doing construction here at the museum we're going to check out the next steps in the museum and if you think that this is it there's a lot more flowers to be seen here yeah. in the george eastman museum back to you guys michael real quick ask dan what his last name means bella via in italian uh, Doug wants to know, what does your last name mean in Italian? It means beautiful way or beautiful road. See? Beautiful road. Yeah. There you go. Isn't that an appropriate name that works? Yeah. Like that. The flower uh, man. Bella All right. Mia.